FedEx employees are returning back to work after Thursday night's mass shooting. As you can imagine, the mental toll they're facing could be a lot to handle. Mental health experts are suggesting counseling to employees who want it. Our crew at FedEx today witnessed many vehicles back in the parking lot. When employees enter and exit, they are greeted by security personnel. We've reached out to FedEx on how they're supporting staff as they return. We'll let you know when we hear back. Now to the other top story, first at four, reaching reaction that is, is still coming in from across America after the conviction of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, the death of George Floyd last year. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid joins us now live from the IMPD Training Academy. He has more on what that case means for both police officers in Indy and the community they patrol. In the 11 months since George Floyd's killing, the community in Indianapolis has asked for police reform, and now community leaders tell me that IMPD is responding. IMPD now emphasizes more de-escalation techniques in its training. It's also its use of force policy now bans the use of chokeholds, which were of course never taught at this academy anyway, and requires officers to use proportional force to the situation. The department has also banned no-knock warrants and added more citizen oversight. Community leaders we spoke with say they are pleased with the progress. If we're slowing those things down and giving our officers more time to consider solutions and outcomes, that can only be positive for our officers and for the community. I, for one, am a part of the community, so I'm happy to see that the community has been changing with the signs of the times. Um, our police department recognizes there's a need for change. Community police reform leaders say they look forward to the full launch of the general orders and use of force boards and continuing the momentum of the last year regarding citizen involvement. I've been in touch with one of those citizen members that's been appointed to the general orders board. He says his training has already started and he looks forward to his ride alongs with IMPD officers to learn better on how they do their jobs. At the IMPD Training Academy, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. Russ, thank you. Now, we have done a town hall with leaders in law enforcement, several reports on police reform, and one-on-ones with lawmakers about actions at the State House. And you can find all of that right now on our website.